everybody, CW here. I got to do a big shout out to my buddy Wes. He sent me out a heck of a prize here. Surprise. And I want to talk about it a little bit. Stand by. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, here's the deal. I'm pretty good friends, YouTube friends, with Alabama Reloader. And uh, we're actually hoping to have him on a couple of chats pretty soon, coming up here pretty quick. I was just talking to him the other day about this and uh, brought it up. And He's always traveling. He's always busy with, with work and traveling, and it's hard for him to, to get the time set aside to sit down at that time of day. Um, it's just a busy time of day for him. Friday evening, he's got stuff with his kids and everything going on in life. So he hasn't been able to join us at uh, our Friday night chat. But hopefully, hopefully he's going to have some opening time and we can get him on there and you can all meet him and uh, see what kind of super guy is that uh, I've learned and found out that he is. Anyway, we've talked for a while and I've sent bullets down to him, sent back stuff up to me. And we've we've uh, been texting each other and you get a new rifle, you know, you get all excited and text a picture. Hey, man, look what I got, you know. So it's been pretty cool. And... Uh, when I decided to do this six arc, I knew that he had had a few videos and I, I noticed looking back that he hadn't had any more videos about it. And I, you know, I didn't know what happened or what was going on or if he had a falling out with it or something happened. And, uh, I should have realized he's, he's, uh, he loves to have new stuff. So like, like a lot of us have done or do still, um, you kind of sell one to buy another one. Uh, at least for the for the bigger purchases. So that's pretty much what happened, I believe, to his Grendels and Arcs. He just traded them off to get something better, something different, something flavor of the month. Who knows why we do what we do, but uh, um, because of our great free country, we're able to do this kind of stuff. So he does not have the firearms anymore, but he still had some brass and bullets. Now, I think he's got other 6.5s, but I don't think he has other 6 millimeters. I think that's what he had said. So I had asked him about loads and what he thought and this and that, and, you know, just, just chatting about the 6 arc. And he said that he thought he had a few pieces floating around still, and he would send them up to me because um, he had no use for them anymore. And then he'd get off on a trip, and he lost track of time and everything else, and you know, a month or so goes by and he, he show up in the mail. And I said, holy cow, look what I got. Well, he didn't just send me a few pieces of brass. You know, he sent me a whole pile of Hornady 6.5 Grendel and 20 pieces of 6 Arc. Now, I didn't do an unboxing because eh, I just had a lot going on the day they arrived. And I opened the box and I threw them in the, I threw them in the decapper, decapped them all, threw them in the, the, uh, tumbler, washed them all, cleaned them all, and then I started prepping. And uh, these actually aren't, these actually aren't the cases he gave me. These are brand new ones because I've already got the six, the 20 he gave me loaded. I, uh, I annealed the necks, sized them, deburred them, trimmed them, and loaded them. So I wanted to have 20 pieces here, but these are the ones that I got from the Grendel. And all I've done with these are clean them, resize them, and trim them. His were annealed, so I didn't bother to anneal them, but a lot of the annealing colors washed off with the let me shine. That let me shine takes everything off. But so I knew about the brass. Didn't know how much, but thanks by the way, Wes. Thanks a lot. I really, really appreciate it. Um I didn't know about the bullets. The bugger sent me bullets. Like I said, I think he said that he's right now out of the six millimeter game, so he had these extra, so he sent them to me. I've got some 70 grain ballistic tips. 80 grain ballistic tips. 90 grain ballistic tips. And these I had, 95 grain. 
blister. These are old, old, old school. But uh, if you don't know about nozzlers, they color code their tips with their ballistic tips. So six millimeter, 243, is purple. So all these bullets will have purple tips. Um, on another forum that I go on, I was talking to a guy, and I don't know if he sent them to me or I bought them, but I have them. I have 55 grain Nosler ballistic tips, which is crazy light. They're, they're cute little buggers. Um, I need to try. I don't know what I would do with them. I, I guess I could send them at coyotes. We'll see. We'll see what I load and what I come up with. But, uh, you know, this here excites me because I want to try... I'd love to be in an 85 grain bullet, 90 grain, 95 grain, something in that range. And this is gonna let me try bullets of this weight. I've always had really good luck with ballistic tips for accuracy, with the exception of my Grendel. My Grendel won't shoot a ballistic tip. I haven't found a load yet, and I don't know why. Um, I can take those same exact 120 grain ballistic tips and shoot them my 6506 into bug holes but they won't shoot. They won't shoot that way in the Grendel. <coughs> and the Grendel will shoot, you know, 120s really well. Um, 120 gold dots will shoot uh, under a half an inch. 123 SSTs shoot, same thing. 120 Game Kings, Game Kings, 120 Pro Hunters from Sierra shoot under an inch. So it'll shoot those bullets. I tend to have more issues with lighter than 95 in the Grendel for whatever reason. And I can't really say it's a problem because I've only shot a couple of loads. I haven't really worked up loads for lighter bullets. So it probably will shoot them. I just haven't found a load. I hope that's not the case with the Arc because it's even got a faster twist barrel than the than the uh, Grendel does. I believe the Grendel's 1 in 8. And this is one in 7.5 i think i don't know yet because if you read online about the how a mini it advertises to have a one in eight twist but you start reading about guys who have it have the rifle they're saying it's one and 7.5 twist now i don't know if it's measured by them one in 7.5 or if it's labeled on the barrel, 1 in 7.5. I say that because I don't know how many of you guys have actually checked your twist with a really tight patch and magic markers on your rods. But generally, you'll find that they're, they're not going to be what they say they are. In other words, you, know, you got a 306 1 in 10 twist that you've had for you know 50 years. It could be 1 in 9.5 or 1 in 10 and a half. You know, it's, you're going to find that it varies a little bit from what they say it is. And if you think about manufacturing, especially older, you know, everything was, was analog. That's probable. Today, with, with electronics and computer-controlled things and such, there really is no excuse for it not being exactly what it says it is on the barrel. Uh, unless it's a mistake. You know what I mean? Um, if they set the machine up to turn a one and eight twist, it's going to turn a one and eight twist. So it depends on how that barrel's made, how it's how it's rifled, I suppose would be another factor. But my point being, if you check your barrels, don't be surprised if they do not come out exactly what they say they are. They'll be close, but they may not be exact. And one in seven point five to one in eight, that's really close. So. Either way, it's going to be fine. I just know that with past experience, the faster the twist barrel, the less it likes super accurate, super accurate, I mean, light, light bullets. It'll shoot them fine. It stabilizes them fine. As I've said to millions of people, you can't overstabilize a bullet. Listen to my words. Don't read into it. You can't overstabilize a bullet. You can overtwist the bullet. That's not stabilizing it. Stabilizing creates twist, but 
Twisting, spinning is another another story entirely. And you can over-rotate a bullet and you can have other issues. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is a big thank you to Alabama Loader for sending me brass and bullets. Bullets are a big, huge surprise and they're a big, huge help. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. You guys can go over and check his channel. He does a lot of hunting stuff, a lot of reloading stuff. That's what he centers on. He does a little bit of a, a family and stuff, which is really great to see. But by and large, he's always got some new caliber, some new rifle, reloading, range time, accuracy. And uh, he does a nice video. Um, if you like to listen to somebody talk about reloading and why he does what he does and how he arrived at what he did and a little bit of... Uh, Hunting stories thrown in there. I, I like the way he does his videos. So go over and check him out. And I will try and remember to get a link to his channel in the description below. But there we go. Just a really quick video that I started to ramble on again. <laughs> I appreciate everybody. God bless. CW out.